Hi everyone, Christopher here from Finco. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a sticky footer mobile menu for your website. The menu that you see on the screen, which is kind of like the normal mobile apps that have uh, the menu items. Uh, I am going to uh, start from scratch and show you guys how to create such a menu using our pro theme. So let's get started. To have a starting point, I installed some assets in Design Cloud. So I went to Pro Design Cloud menu and installed some assets. For the headers, I use this top right one. I already installed that. And for the content, I use the product tables content. And for the footer, I use uh, the Chronicle footer. And as you can see, it's installed. So now I can use this asset as a template in the page that we want to create. So let's go to Pro Content and add our page. So the page title should be form page and I am going to select the blank no container header footer page template to have a full screen view and also header and footer for the page. Let's create that and hit the edit button so we can do changes in the page itself. I'm going to load the template that I've already installed from the design cloud. So we gonna, we're going to use the product tables, insert. Okay, the content is here. Let's save. Okay, and do a reload. The next step is to add a header and footer and then assign them to the form page that we've created. So let's go to Pro Footers. Okay, I'm gonna use a template, this Chronicle footer, and let's name the footer as Phone Footer. Create. Okay, I click on the Phone Footer itself to assign it to our phone page. So if I search for phone page, here it is. Okay, I selected the footer for the phone page. The next step is the header, pro headers. Again, I'm gonna use template and gonna use the second one. Let's name it phone header. Okay, create. Click on the header itself and choose the phone page and assign the header to this page. Okay. So now uh, we have a page which contains a header, content, and footer. But the header and footer uh, does not have that uh, sticky footer menu for the mobile. The thing that we need to do is to just remove this header uh, in the mobile and the footer for the mobile and just leave that sticky uh, menu for the footer of the mobile version. So uh, let's start and go to phone header. I click the edit button to edit the header. And the thing that I need to do is to just go to bar one, I hit the magnifying glass icon and then the customize tab and just select the mobile menu to uh, hide the header for the mobile view. If I click this uh, mobile icon at the left side of the screen, I can see the page in the mobile. Okay, bar one is gone. Bar two, again, Customize tab and just hide it for the mobile view. Okay, let's save the header and go to footer. 
the footer name is phone footer I hit the edit button and do the same thing for the footer so bar 1 bar 2 and bar 3 we have three bars to go in the customize tab and just hide them for the mobile view okay second one and the third bar cool let's save and check the footer okay it's gone so the page now only has content the next step is to add at the actual uh, sticky footer menu bar for our page. The first thing that you would think is to use another bar for the footer to add the sticky menu, but actually uh, there is no sticky footer feature in the footer builder of the pro theme. And you need to go to the header and add a header to create such a menu so let's do that go to pro headers mm -hmm. and the phone header edit now in the header builder you will see that we have a top section left section right section and bottom section this bottom section is the key to add a sticky footer menu so let's just have the page in the mobile mode okay and I click the button se section and let's add a bar okay now the bar is uh, sticky already so you can see that it is uh, just sticking at the footer okay uh, let's have uh, background color for the bar I'm gonna use the RGBA syntax 255, 255 and 255 is the code for the white color and I will have 80% opacity okay so but uh, for this one uh, I need to do it uh, um, I need to make it black sorry so here it is it's black and uh, the other thing to do is make it make the height of the sticky bar a little bit smaller and we do not want any outer space so let's do it and make it zero so the whole content can take up the whole screen the flex box should be row and I'm gonna just make sure that it is uh, set as a standard between and uh, the vertical align should be center okay and we do not have any box shadows so let's zero it out okay the next step is the container container is okay and I click on the container to add uh, some elements the element that I want to use uh, is button which will have that uh, button view for the menu let's go and do some changes there okay the background color should be again black also uh, there on the hover it should be black and let's make it uh, the bit uh, as I want to add five menu items it's better to uh, just have 20% as the width of the uh, button itself so 20% because 100% divided by 5 is 20%. Okay, so here it is. And uh, we want to have a link for the menu. Uh, the first menu should be a ho the home menu. And uh, let me show you a trick to get the current 
uh, home page of the uh, website. I'm going to click uh, the dynamic data icon and search for home and use the home URL. Uh, this will uh, just guarantee that if you change your website domain for a reason, uh, it will just uh, get the URL of the domain uh, from the database and it will be updated all the time. Okay. The other point is to just add a border. So let's add a right border, solid, and make it one pixel. And the color should be maybe a little bit grayish. So three or maybe two okay that's good and let's zero out the border radius to have the line okay now let's go to text and just add home okay and the color of the text should be maybe this whitish gray okay mm -hmm. and let's do A hover color so yep it's good and uh, for the border I need to copy this one and paste it for the interaction to make sure we have a solid color okay now uh, you can see that uh, there is uh, uh, the height of the button is not going all the way up or down to change that we have a height and let's make it 4 em which will go all the way and we'll have the button and uh, we need to add a graphic so I click the graphic tab and let's enable the graphic okay and okay let's add an icon for home, search for home, this one is good and the color should be the same that we had okay interaction maybe Zero five. Okay. And this one zero eight. Good. The other point is that we want the graphic and text sit uh, top to bottom and not left to right. So we're gonna go to the content flex box and change it from row to column. And now you are at the center. Cool. Let's now have uh, the button is correct. Let's go back to elements and just copy this button four more times. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So do small changes here. Let's add a work to the URL and change the text to work. Okay, and graphic should be changed and make it 
So the work should be some kind of portfolio. So I'm going to use an uh, image icon. Okay. The next one. What was the next one? Shop about and contact. Okay, shop. The URL, the text, shop, and the icon graphic, which should be some kind of shopping cart. Okay, this one. Let's go for the next one, which was, I just forgot, shop about. Okay. Again, about, this is the link, text is about, and the graphic. Let's use the friend keyboard to have this icon of two person. And the last one, which is the contact. Contact as the URL. The text should be contact and the graphic icon. Let's search for envelope. Okay. <laughs> Great. Now let's save the header. So we have uh, menu now that is sticky and at, at the bottom but if we just check the website for the big bigger size you see that the uh, menu is there still we want to have this menu only for the mobile view so I am going to go to bar one customize and hide this menu for all the viewports except the menu, uh, the mobile one. So here it is. It shows on mobile, but as soon as we go to big mobile or tablet, the uh, header shows and uh, the mobile uh, sticky menu does not show. Okay, let's save this one and go to phone page to see the result. And here it is. We have a sticky menu with in the footer for the mobile view and if we just make the page a little bit uh, wider. You can see that the menu just goes away. So here's how we can use the header builder uh, actually for create a, a sticky footer menu for mobile. Thank you everyone and talk to you soon.